Today we're speaking with Dr. Ray Dubois, Provost and Executive Vice President at the University of Texas MD Anderson Cancer Center. He is also Professor of Cancer Biology and Cancer Medicine. Dr. Dubois is a past president of the AACR and is a member of the Scientific Program Committee for Frontiers in Cancer Prevention Research. Thank you for joining us. You're welcome. You presented the report on the AACR NCI Think Tank, Charting the Future of Cancer Prevention. What are the biggest challenges in cancer prevention today? Well, there, there are a few challenges. I think one of the issues that we discussed this morning is that uh, to complete these clinical trials, looking at a preventive agent or a preventive intervention, takes a very long time, so they're, they're costly. Uh, and we just have to make sure that there's enough uh, resources in the federal budget to support those kinds of trials that, that are more long-term. Uh, the other, uh, other challenge that we discussed was making sure that the pharmaceutical industry understands the needs of this field and how to better develop new drugs and agents that can be utilized to either for chemo prevention or for, for other types of preventive uh, strategies. And then lastly, um, public awareness is crucial and I think there's been a lot of uh, talk in the press or uh, discussion about obesity and, and, and other things that we know cause cancer. We have to make sure that people understand what cancer is, how it develops, and how to prevent it. There is a major public health aspect to cancer prevention. So what is the takeaway for the public from this report? Well, the, the takeaway is that about 50% of cancers that we now diagnose are preventable. Uh, and that they're preventable by either smoking cessation, tobacco control, lifestyle, behavioral changes, diet, nutrition. Uh, and we need much more focus on that because it's much easier to take that approach than to take some, you know, very toxic chemotherapy for end-stage disease. I understand you're a part of the first discussions about Stand Up to Cancer. What are your thoughts about how far that's come? Well, I'm very impressed because in the beginning, it wasn't clear how that was going to develop. There were lots of uh, interested parties, uh, people from Hollywood that were very dedicated to the effort, and uh, it's just truly been amazing to see how successful that's been, how much publicity and how much funds have been raised for very important cancer research. As a member of the Scientific Advisory Committee for Stand Up to Cancer, what are the scientific priorities that you will focus on for the next Dream Teams? Well, I uh, would like to focus on some prevention research. I think a lot of the initial teams are focused on looking at new targets for therapy uh, in, in terms of breast you know, cancer and, and, and other targeted cancers. And I think uh, it would be wonderful to see the next uh, iteration or next version of these grants and that funding go into the prevention field in some way. So I'm going to push for that. Obviously, uh, I'm probably not the majority of the committee that's interested in this, but I think it would be wonderful to, to use that platform to talk about prevention and to actually fund some prevention research. As the chair of the Clinical and Translational Research Committee, what are the biggest opportunities where AACR can make a difference and move the field forward? Well, that, that committee's been very important. We've got some outstanding people that are part of that are involved in uh, personalizing cancer care. And I think one of the major issues right now is there's about 800 drugs in the pipeline that can be used for targeted cancer therapies. Uh, some of those are more de developed than others, and I think our committee needs to identify any barriers or ways that we can accelerate the development of those drugs uh, and get them out of the phase one, phase two, and into the clinic as soon as possible. Dr. Du Bois, thank you so much. You're welcome.